as you can see, I have a French twist of one side of my hair. I will be demonstrating on this side today. Currently, it's still slightly damp, so I guess you can say that my hair is at its most natural state. I always get questions on what it looks like without any styling, so there it is. It's uh, slightly wavy. Um, sometimes it's wavier, sometimes it's a little bit straighter like this. It does its own thing. I have no control over it. Um, now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mousse by Aussie. This is their Instant Freeze Sculpting Mousse. You don't have to do this. Um, the reason why I like to put mousse or some kind of styling product if I uh, do this in the morning is so that at the end of the day when I take out my braids or twists, I will get some really nice waves. So yeah, just like that. I'm just going to mainly concentrate on the ends and comb it through and work my way up. It's just a little bit of product around your roots, not too much. Alright, so now that we've got that taken care of, I'm just going to grab a chunk of hair using my index finger. Just like that. Around this, the part. And split it into two parts, okay? Now, I find it a little easier if I have my hands over, like on the in the back, but you can experiment with your hands in the front. Do whatever that's most, com most comfortable for you. So now we have it in two parts. I'm gonna take the part that's closest to the forehead and bring it to the back over on top of the other piece. Hand it over, see this piece right here? I'm gonna hand it over to the hand that's in the back. So I have a free hand to grab a chunk of hair and combine it with that piece that was uh, that's on the bottom so like that and then bring it to the back and that's pretty much all you do you're just going to repeat the same exact process slice a chunk of hair and if your hair is really long you might want to kind of untangle a little bit and now that it's untangled, combine it with the, the piece on the bottom and bring it to the back and on top. Just like that. I'm making it sound a lot more complicated than it actually is. It's really easy, so you just watch. Slice, combine, bring it to the back. Slice, combine, bring it to the back. You just keep doing this. And that, that's, that's it. Slice, combine, bring it to the back. Slice, combine, bring it to the back. Now you can take smaller parts if you prefer your twists to be more defined and have smaller waves at the end of the day, but this is how I prefer to do mine. It's a lot quicker, and the end result when I untie it is better on me. Okay, so now that we're down here, uh, pretty much brought our hair into the twist, we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna take the part that's away, that's further from your face, and twist it to your face, and then take this piece and cross it over. Twist, cross. Twist, cross. Twist, cross. Twist, cross. Twist, cross. So this way, this uh, twist won't come undone by the time you tie it down and let it go. Sometimes you, you can just do this method um, on the bottom part instead of uh, French twisting it. It's really cute too. Okay, so this is sort of a two-in-one tutorial because, like I said, when you untie it, you'll get really nice ways. And I have a video on what it looks like the morning after if you sleep in them and um, I show you like how I untie and everything so I'll link it down below if you're interested and this is the gist of it the reason why this part is a little bit looser is because this will eventually become like this if you just run around like a crazy woman that I am um, but you can 
certainly, like I said, take smaller chunks and then make it a little bit tighter if you prefer it to look like that, but I like this look a little better. So yeah, that's it. You can even bring it over to the other side and combine it together in a, another twist. And that, that's really cute too. So let me just show you what the back looks like. So yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully this is clear enough. If uh, you have any questions, just give me a comment on the bottom or message me privately, whatever. And um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.